Kathy, and I am a leadership development coach and trainer, and um, I'll be reviewing Website Toolbox, and the rating I'll give it is a four plus, but um, for more ratings like this, you can click below. Before Website Toolbox, we were having to do some things manually. Um, we will go in and do um, team trainings and um, leadership development trainings. And one of the things, one of the components we wanted to add to this manager training was the idea of um, some outside homework for the leaders that we were working with where between times where we were developing, we wanted them to connect to be able to do kind of like you do in an online classroom where you have forums, where you're able to connect with homework partners. And, um, and anywhere we had kind of done that before, it really needed to be like, hey, let's grab coffee, let's, you know, whatever. And so when we discovered Website Toolbox, we realized we would be able to put that in a virtual setting. So we really didn't have a tool for it before, and Website Toolbox gave us a forum to use that, which is not, I don't think, what Website Toolbox is even completely designed for. It's a, it's a blogger tool um, in a lot of ways, but we utilized it in a really unique way. Website Toolbox was chosen because it was affordable, it was accessible, it was usable, user-friendly, and, and what I mean, so accessible is two things. Accessible is both the fact that we could get to it um, easily on, on the web, but it was also accessible in terms of being user-friendly. So I'm not technical, we don't have an IT department. Um, I, I was really, as the facilitator of the class, I had to decide what tools I was going to use, how I was going to put this into place, and 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 my one up was not really committed to putting a lot of resources behind it, so it had to be something that could be implemented pretty easily. So that's what I did. I was able to implement that and um, use it um, pretty easily. So at the time, um, I found it to be a little bit cumbersome um, to get started, just because it was a it was an unfamiliar tool, and I don't operate in um, the blog space or in forum spaces. Um, but once I um, spent just a little bit of time kind of figuring out how that would work and getting people's permissions and getting them kind of set up, like once we had everybody figure out how to log in and how that um, unique login function worked, um, some of that had to do with firewall too, just because a lot of these people work in a company where obviously internet privacy is an issue. Once we got past some of those logistics, it, it worked really um, seamlessly. I only explored just a tiny piece of the functionality of Website Toolbox because um, this is not even what the developers of Website Toolbox envisioned for it um, by my way of thinking. So this is a really unique way to utilize this software and um, so I think I've really tapped into something that's a unique use of it. Um, beyond what the developers kind of thought of it as, is you know, just an add-on to somebody's website where people could be doing chat rooms and, you know, a forum and that kind of thing, or a blog um, forum. And so I would just encourage you to think about how you could use it um, to, to get teams thinking or in a learning space or um, in an online course, if you're trying to do that kind of um, environment uniquely with a team. So um, it's really an outside-the-box way to use this software.